Today we're going to practice some more comparison problems. These are the types of problems that we used with the comparison bars where we had two people with different things that we were comparing. These ones will be a bit more complex, but using the same strategies as before, we will be able to solve them. Started with the first problem. Missy has eight pencils. That is four fewer pencils than Nate. How many pencils does Nate have? Since I know I'm doing comparison bars, let's get those drawn right away. Now, we, in this problem, we have Missy and we have Nate. It says that Missy has eight pencils. That is four fewer pencils than Nate. Now this wording is a little bit tricky. If I take out the word or the number four, what if I say Missy has eight pencils? That is fewer pencils than Nate. If I know that fewer means less, then that means that Missy has less than Nate. The wording is a little bit strange. We have to read it very carefully in order to solve, but that means that Missy has less. Let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. Missy has eight pencils, M for Missy. Let's put in our eight. Then we have four fewer. If you remember from our previous lesson, any number with more or fewer goes in the circle. That means that Nate has more and we need to find out how many more he has. Now, since this is our math mountain, I'm looking to find my total. Finding my total means I'm going to add eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nate has 12 pencils. And that makes sense since we decided that Nate has more than Missy. Let's move to the next problem. Kelly has seven dolls. This is four more dolls than Amy has. How many dolls does Amy have? Let's draw our comparison bars right away. And let's see who has more. Kelly has seven dolls. This is four more dolls than Amy. That means that Kelly has more than Amy. So let's give Kelly the big bar and Amy the small bar. Now we can plug in our numbers. Kelly has seven dolls. Find the K for Kelly and give her seven. This is four more than Amy. Since it has more hooked onto it, I know it goes in that special circle. Then I can put my missing question mark over here. Now, if seven is our king, I know I can't have a number bigger than seven, so I'm going to count down to find my missing number. Seven, six, five, four, three. That means that Amy has three dolls. And since she has the smaller bar, I know that she will have less than Kelly. There are nine more red beads than blue beads. There are 13 blue beads. How many red beads are there? Now in this problem, we are not comparing people. We're comparing red beads and blue beads. So we need to think about who gets the bigger bar and that is which color bead has more. Let's look at it again. There are nine more red beads than blue beads. So since it says there's more red, we're going to give R for red the big bar, which means B for blue gets the small bar. 
Now we can plug in our numbers. Nine more. That means the nine goes in the circle because it's a special word with more or fewer. And there are 13 blue beads. Let's give blue 13. That means I am looking for the king of my math mountain. Let's add 13 plus nine more. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That means there are 22 red beads. There were only 13 blue beads, but it says there are more red beads. Here is our last problem for the day. Cam sees three more lions at the zoo than monkeys. He sees eight monkeys. How many lions does he see? So in this problem, we're comparing lions and monkeys. Now it says he sees more lions. So let's give lions the big bar and let's give the monkeys the small bar. Now we can plug in the numbers. I have three more lions. Oh, there's that special word more. I know it goes in my circle. And there's eight monkeys. Find M for monkeys. Let's give them eight. So I'm looking for my number of lions. If I make it look like a math mountain to help me, I can add eight and three to find out how many lions. Eight, nine, 10, 11. There are 11 lions. Nice job, second grade. These problems are a little bit tricky, but remember, the most important part is to decide who gets the big bar and who gets the small bar, and after that, we are good to go.